Today is Friday and uh, people don't come to see me Fridays for fun. Actually, nobody ever comes to see me for fun. <laughs> but uh, tell me, what brings you to me? Tell me about your symptoms first. Well, I can't walk, for one thing. Okay. And I'm getting lazier and lazier and lazier with age. Well, I, I think that's part of it. Well, I think as well, you told me you are in pain, and pain doesn't let you do things. But I have, I have. Even younger people are like that. I have a senior citizen chair in mm -hmm. my in living room. Okay. One of them that picked me up, kicked me out, kicked me out. Okay, so one to ten, how bad is the pain? Well, I would say the pain is seven or eight when I can't do seven, pain. eight. You know, most of the women who give birth to a baby, they rate their pain as seven, eight. So, when you do things, you have almost the same amount of pain that uh, somebody else who's giving birth. So it's significant. This is not a trivial thing. Yeah, this well, is nothing that the aspirin can correct. He doesn't do much, but sit. Yeah. Yeah, we have stairs. I in used house. to do a lot, and you know it's important to do things because mm -hmm. if you don't do things, your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your body deconditions. Literally, right. you are setting up yourself for failure if you stop doing things. So this is a significant situation. This is not a trivial thing, not being able to do things and mm -hmm. being in pain of seven days. Plus, he's fallen a couple of times. Yeah. Now I want to look at this here, and I just want to tell that. Um, you're not making it up. It says your spine. Look at that. The dark inside is the nitrogen from the cartilage of your protein that decomposing inside of you, literally rotting away, and practically the cushion between two bones is gone. And what that means is that if this is your spine, your spine is right now inside of you like this bone, this bone, this. And at this separate two bone and keep the hole open where the nerves is coming out, by you collapsing, it pinches the nerve and gives you as well your back pain and leg pain. So we don't have to name a new disease after you. We see why you're having the pain. Mm -hmm. And this was actually five years ago. So in five years ago as well, we saw what the problem is. And your pain is real. But you told me one of my colleagues told you something about your problem. What did my colleague tell you? Couldn't do nothing. So he said he, he can do nothing for your pain. Right. And I'm telling you, if you let me do my homework, I think I can help you. Yeah, and he way, came home very sad that day. He said he told me there's nothing can be done for spinal stenosis. Yeah, well, I think he uh, probably made a, made a more nuanced way. There is lots of things we can do, but those things that we can do is a long, bloody invasive dangerous surgery and weighing risk versus benefits he decided it's not in your favor to put you through the surgery so only thing is left is going and living with that and that is i i think what uh, gives me a joy that i can't tell people i can help them where my colleagues cannot not yeah. because of my superior skill per se but because i have a method yeah. of doing an eight hour surgery or one hour surgery i have a method of making a one and a half liter of blood loss a surgery with an ounce of a spoonful of blood loss. That's amazing. So by reducing the amount of the damage is done to your body during the surgery, the risk versus benefit all of a sudden is on your favor. So that's why I can help people because we made a big surgery, small surgery. So I hear that a lot, that people go to other surgeons and they are told to go live with it. Yeah. And if it was livable, you wouldn't come and see me. It's not livable. No. It's and so, and that is truly what gives me joy that I can tell you, I think I can help you, okay? Um, it's not a week, I don't do a surgery on somebody in your situation, and obviously no surgery comes free of risk, no surgery mm -hmm. doesn't come with a guarantee, but considering that we made a big surgery, small surgery, there are more people I can help than any other of my colleagues. Okay, that sounds so, great. Well, this is the first time we meet, but uh, they say the proof is in the pudding, <coughs> So let me let me do my homework now, and then we will meet. And I'm hoping that you know we will get more of these testimonials, so have a track record along the way about what your progress is. And I don't need a year to get through that. Yeah. I just need few months to first of all get a picture about how things look like now, and then put you on a path 
to do everything else but surgery. We have a very comprehensive protocol. Just because we are good at the surgery doesn't mean we are going to put it first in the line. Mm -hmm. We are going to try everything that science and medicine has to offer to make you feel better. And in the next two months, we know if you're getting better. If you're getting better, fantastic. I don't even have to do the surgery. But if you're not getting better, I'm telling you that you're a very good candidate for the oldest procedure and what we do. Even in your age group, um, we have had a very good results. But I invite you to go online, listen to people who have gone through that process to get a good idea of what I'm talking about. I have looked at a few testimonials because I see him getting weaker and weaker every day and mm -hmm. kind of desperation. I just Googled spinal stenosis and you came up. Well, the, so. the idea is here that, uh, you know, um, our body is made to walk, to <clears throat> do things. If we quit doing things, um, our body sort of goes down the hill pretty fast. Well, it's and not living, it's existing. Yeah. It's yeah. not living. And unfortunately, your situation is not unique. So what you're saying is I should get up off my butt. <laughs> First, we have to make you pain-free. Yeah. No, it's so, any other question or comment? No? no, as far as getting up, his legs are so weak. Is it good for him to try and Yeah, have you examined him? He has um, symptoms in the legs that correspond to that level. So it's not a question that there is a problem there. The question is, can I, as surgeon, safely help you? The answer to you from my colleague was no. The marriage, my answer to you is, it's a most likely yes. Okay. I used to walk from the living room to the mm -hmm. bathroom, to the bedroom. What are you missing mostly about that now you cannot do for, from the time you start having the symptoms? But what, what is what you mostly missing? What am I missing? What do you miss? What do you, what is your, what do you desire to do and you couldn't do because of the pain? I'd like to go fishing. Okay. <laughs> then I, you have to promise me, if everything goes well, you send me a picture of you fishing, okay? Okay. That would be fun, huh? Yeah, yeah send Thank a you. pic of your first catch.